Alternatives to standardized tests, let's go. First, let me just say, any alternatives to the SAT or using GPA is going to require more resources from the institution. In other words, universities have to decide that they want to invest in bringing underrepresented or unrepresented populations into their campus to make college admission a fairer process, to make their campus more diverse. If the university doesn't want that, then they don't need to give up on standardized tests because standardized tests produce enough students who are going to be really well in college, especially the high ranking, uh, those who get the higher scores on the SATs or those who come in with higher GPAs, the likelihood by all research that we have shows that they're going to be quite successful. And if you have way more students of that type than you can admit, then it's easy, right? You just admit them and you don't need to use any of the alternatives. But let's say that you're actually interested in expanding the pool of applicants that you get and building a more diverse and, and, and socially just student body. If you want to do that, the best way to do it is through interviews. You can't interview everyone, but you can choose strategically which populations to interview because a one-on-one -on -one interview teaches you a lot more than what standardized tests can. I know that's disputed, and some people would say that that's not true and the research doesn't support it. In my work, I've seen that the research, uh, I mean, not the research, I've seen that, that it actually works pretty well. Of course, you don't interview students who are really, really bad in high school. You take students who are pretty good, but they don't have to be at the top of their class. Um, another way that has that I've seen that has been quite efficient and effective and bring in has brought in really great students um, is through recruitment. Rather than waiting for them to apply, you use a proactive approach. You go out to the high schools, you talk to college counselors, you talk to the students, but you don't do it when they're seniors. You do it when they're sophomores or juniors. You develop within them this dream that your college is the college for them, that they should go to that college because that would be the best place for them. And they, once you go and you do that, you'll be quite successful because by the time they're seniors and they apply, you've already developed a relationship with them. You know who they are. They know who you are. They know they want to come there. And you know enough about them to know if they'll be successful in your program. And I've been involved in efforts of this type and it has been tremendously successful. Then of course, there are the other methods, like asking them to write essays. Many universities do that. Of course, someone can write the essay for you, but if you bring them to campus and make them write the essay in front of you, again, that requires more resources, but then the essay is actually their work. And I could go on and on, but I think you guys get the picture. The institution has to be interested in doing this.